an image carouser adds an image gallery to your site that will automatically rotate through all of your images at a set interval. It can be very helpful for displaying content such as a portfolio or a photo gallery. Image carousals are one of the most effective ways to showcase products, services, or images on your WordPress website. Hi guys, this is Jaswin Balia from Team Learn Today. And in this SOP, we will learn how to add an image carousal on your WordPress website using Elementor. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so once you are on your WordPress dashboard, you have to select the page that you want to add the carousal on. It could be your homepage, it could be your services page. I would prefer it to be on my services page since uh, you know it's meant to show off the pictures, the photos, the designs that uh, you have created. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, it's better put up on services, but you can also add it on your homepage just as, you know, a tease of what it is that you do. So you have to select the page. First of all, look at your left sidebar, go to pages and either create a new page if you want to add it on a new page or select the page from all pages that you want to add the image carousel on. Okay, so once you're on the pages section, you have to select the page. As I said, I'm going to do it on my home page. So you guys can either edit, go to edit, then select edit with Elementor, or you have the option to edit with Elementor directly from here. And we are editing with Elementor since we are using the image carousal widget that is there on Elementor. So I'll click on edit with Elementor and we'll go to our page, editor page. All right, so this is my homepage. And what I can do over here is that I have to add the section that I want to add the image carousel on. So we we'll click on add new section from here and we'll select our structure. Now it's up to you what kind of structure you want. If you want one text or heading and then your image carousel on one side, then you can go with that. I'm just gonna select the one section structure, uh, just to show you guys how you can add the image carousel. And then you can click on this plus button or icon from here so that all these widgets in the left hand side, they start to appear. So we have seen headings, images, we have seen how you can add videos, buttons, Google Maps, icons. So what we can do over here is we can search for the widget that we want, that is image carousel and it starts to appear. So just drag and drop this over here. Awesome, right? Now you can select the images that you want. I will quickly do that. All right, so once I have added my gallery, I can select what size I want it to be. I can make it medium. Um, I think that's too big, but I mean, let's just keep it at medium for now. Uh, I can see the slides that I want to show. For example, the 10th one, I mean, all 10 at once, three, three um, pictures at once or however I want. I can make it five maybe. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We can keep it five. And then you have the slides to scroll. So as you can see, it's pretty cool, right? All right, so you can make the image stretch. That is something that we don't want to do. And you can keep the navigation. You can keep it as arrows, just like this. You can keep it as dots. As you can see, these two dots, they start to appear from here, but I don't think that's very user-friendly. So let's keep it as arrows and dots. And then you have the link. If you want to link a media file or a custom URL, you can do that as well. And then let's go to style from here. Now this is positioned as inside. You can position it a little outside as well, but I liked it the other way. You can increase the size. Again, you can maybe, you know, have some different color for the arrows and the dots that you see right there. I think I'll keep it as white. And then you have the pagination position, which is, as you can see, if I keep it at inside, that is your dots, they start to appear right here in the slide. So I can maybe keep it at outside. I can increase the size of the pagination, which is the two dots that you see. 
and I can change the color also. So I don't want to do that right now, but I will increase the padding of this just lightly. I think five is fine and I will give it a margin. All right, over here, what I can also do is I can add another widget. I can select this, select this, and I can maybe give it like a divider. All right, or I can give it a spacer. Let's see how the spacer would do. So add this, and then you have the spacer right here. Okay, I think the spacer works well. All right, so I have quickly edited the image carousal a little bit. I think this looks much better than how it was. And we can maybe change the border type a little bit, keep it dashed or something. I think none is better, to be honest. And yeah, this looks pretty good, right? And this is a very nice way to just give a tease of your work to the potential viewers or to the viewers who are coming on your website. And once you're happy with it, you can click on preview changes from here before you publish or update the page. So I'm going to click on preview changes. And let's see how the page looks like. All right, so our spacing is working as well. And this is looking fantastic. This looks really good. So yeah, I'm happy with it. I'll go back to the dashboard and click on publish or update whatever is showing up on your screen. So you click on update and voila, you're done with adding an image carousal on your WordPress website. Hope you guys were able to upload an image carousal on your WordPress website by following this SOP. I'm going to be coming up with a lot of Elementor digital marketing tools and WordPress related videos. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any particular suggestions, any queries, any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. Go ahead and hit on that like button, subscribe button, along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos. This is Jaswin Balia and I will see you in our next SOP.